Well, Purdue rolling out plans to help student athletes navigate endorsement deals now that the NCAA is allowing them to use their names, images, and likenesses to make a profit. Our Eric Pointer is at the NCAA headquarters this morning. And Eric, since this has been approved, what has the response been for Purdue? The athletic director says that they've been inundated with lots of calls of student athletes asking compliance and other questions and they say that they are not, they're welcomed and encouraged. They want the student athletes to be comfortable asking any questions about any potential deals. The department is offering them hands-on education and giving them resources to learn about their personal brand building. They will also host team-based information sessions and individual sessions for high-profile athletes. The university also has a course about entrepreneurship and brand building that a number of student athletes are signed up for and it would help give them an understanding on how to run a business. Athletic Director Mike Bobinski says that this whole experience can be good for teaching the students. What I like about this whole situation more than anything is it does unleash unleash some entrepreneurship opportunities in our students that I think will only be good for them. You know, it's, a, it's sort of, you know, sort of hands-on business building um, experience that otherwise they, as student athletes in prior years, they couldn't, couldn't really uh, avail themselves of that. The university also has a program named Empower aimed at helping student athletes build their brand by teaching them social media and digital strategies. For their guidelines, I'm told that they drew from other state laws and other bills and chose what would best fit them at Purdue. Here from the NCAA headquarters, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News. Thanks, Eric.